Hello friends, today we are going to solve a problem from the books of topics in algebra. Problem number 10 from the chapter of subgroup and here it is given that uh, if every element of the group G is its own inverse then G is abelian. That means that if two elements A and B belongs to G, this implies that A is equal to A inverse and B is equal to B inverse. With using these two, we need to show that for every A and B belongs to G, AB is equal to BA. If we can show this, then we can say that the group is abelian. So now the question is how to show this. Now, A and B, these two belongs to G. And since G is a group, so their composition A and B, that means A dot B, will also belong to G. Because G is a group, so their composition will also belong to G. Now, these elements belong to G, that means the inverse of this particular element will be AB. Same, because it is given that uh, every element of the group G is its own inverse. Thus, we can say that AB inverse is equal to AB. And now we can write this like B inverse A inverse is equal to AB. This implies BA is equal to AB. And this means that uh, this group is abelian because for all A from a B belongs to G, we have AB is equal to B. Thus, the group is abelian. I hope that you, un you understand up to this. Okay, now let's solve the problem number 11. Uh, in this problem, it is given that G is a group of even order and uh, prove that it has an element A not equal to E. That means A is not the identity element. For that, A square is equal to E. Now, how to solve this kind of question? We can solve this kind of question by using contradiction, the method of contradiction. Let us assume that uh, there is uh, no such A belongs to G such that A square is equal to E. So, uh, now if we take uh, any element G belongs to this group G, then this implies that G square is not equal to E. And this implies G is not equal to G inverse. And we need to remember that, that G is the non-identity element. And for every non-identity element, the G and its inverse is always distinct because G is not equal to G inverse. That means every non-identity element from the group G will form a pair with its inverse. That is G and G inverse will always form a pair. Now the question is how many such pairs will be there in the group G? Now we need to look at this that G is a group of even order. That means that order of this group is finite. Since the order of the group is finite, the number of such pairs will also be finite. That means, let us assume that uh, there are n such pairs. Let, we are assuming this. Now, so there are n such pairs and in each of these pairs, we have two elements. That means how many elements will be there in the group G? Order of G. We have n pairs. And uh, in each of these pairs, we have two elements. That means 2 into n. And we will have another element for this identity. Remember, this G is the non identity element. So we will have another one element because of the identity. Now, if you look at this carefully, this number 2n plus 1 is odd. 
but here it is given that this g is a group of even order so we arrived at a contradiction that means that our assumption that this let us assume that there is no such uh, a belongs to g such that a square is equal to e this is wrong that means there is an element a not equals to e a belongs to g that is fine a square is equal to e so i hope that you understand this and i am going to solve all the problem from the book of topics in algebra uh, you can also suggest me any book uh, any problem from any book and please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching i hope